What is going on? I want to talk about total beginner driving and uh, what does it mean to be a beginner? How do you get better? And let's go ahead and talk about it. I want to welcome you to Good Morning. If you don't know, I'm a state certified driving instructor. I teach teens and adults. And we're going to talk about the toner beginner and how do you improve and how do you get better? You know, when you're driving, you've got to look left, right, and left. You got to observe. A lot of beginning drivers tend just to stare ahead. And if you stare ahead, you're going to miss traffic coming from your left, traffic coming from your right. So you've got to look around your surroundings and gather information to make good decisions. And when you make good decisions, you're going to have a really good outcome. You're going to feel really good about yourself and you're going to do your best work. Let's talk about obeying traffic signals. This is traffic lights. These are green arrows, red arrows, potential yield signs, any type of electronic sign or regular static sign. You as a beginning driver want to take your time. You've got to be patient and you got to really digest this information to make a good decision. Driving is stressful by nature, but if you have a good person helping you, talking to you, encouraging you, you will definitely improve. And I'm about improvement. I'm about helping people. And I want you to be successful. Do you understand rules of the right of way? A lot of beginning drivers don't understand about four-way stops. The first car to get there is the first car to leave. So you want to be patient. If you're not sure, you can stop and wait and look left right and left and let other drivers go by. You always want to be patient and there's a lot of confusion at intersections. So it's the rules of the right away. The first car to get there is the first car to leave. If you're not sure you can wave the person by, you have to make visual eye contact with that person. Um, let's talk about curves. Curves are very dangerous because centrifugal force will pull you to the outside edge. So you want to be safe. You want to reduce your speed going into the curve. And when you reduce your speed going into the curve, you'll have less movement to pull you from outside of the curve. You want to gradually increase your speed at the apex of the curve. So that's at the apex and then accelerating out. Beginning drivers tend to go in too fast. Then they realize, oh, I'm going too fast. And then they lose control. So go in slow to your curves, then accelerate out of your curves. Let's continue. You have to work on parking. That's one big fundamental. I try to work on with all my beginning drivers. We go into a area where their parking lines are really clean. They look good. I get out of the vehicle. I show them how to park. You want to split that parking uh, line in half. If you have one on the left, one on the right, you want to split it right in the middle. So you split it halfway and you go all the way up. We do angle parking, stall parking, reverse parallel parking. There is quite a bit. So, you know, I always want to refer you back to my tutorials. If you have questions, you can always leave questions. You got to maintain proper lane positioning. I have a video out right now where we talk about proper lane positioning. Beginning drivers tend to drift to the right because you haven't learned proper lane positioning. They tend to drift to the left sometime. It's like walking down a hallway in high school. You want to look ahead as far as possible. You want to split those lines in half and you want to go up. You don't want to go up too far because you will smash the front end of your car on the curb, but you want to be in the position properly so you're safe. You want to do the best that you can. Let's talk about parallel parking. In most uh, provinces, counties, you have to do some type of parallel parking. And that is extremely important that you learn how to parallel park. Uh, you want to line your car up, you want to reverse it back at a 45 angle, and you want to turn that wheel hand over hand to the right. The rear will go in to the right, so you have to be safe. You've got to take your time. More on that. Um, let's talk about proper signaling. 100 feet a half a block. Beginner drivers tend to turn on the blinker too early, right? If you turn it on too early, you're going to confuse other drivers. What is this driver doing? Or you turn it on too late, thereby the other driver it's caught off guard. So proper timing is important. You want to be patient. You want to take your time. Uh, let's talk about lane changing. You want to signal. You want to check your mirrors. It's mirror, turn signal, blind spot, right? You want to really be patient. 
and, and get better every day. You want to uh, turn your head. Head checks are really important. If you're making a lane change to the left, you got to look over to the left. If you're making a lane change to the right, it's mirror, turn signal, and you look. So have that head movement. Beginning drivers tend to look over the wrong shoulder. They tend to forget their left and right. So that's why I'm here as a certified instructor to help you, to encourage you, to help you get better. You want to maintain proper speed. Beginning drivers tend to go really slow and lose some momentum or they tend to go too fast. So you always want to do that consistent work. Be patient if you're not sure. Seek the guidance of your instructor. Um, let's talk about safe driving behaviors. You want to make sure you put on your seatbelt. In the excitement of giving to the car, you have to put on your seatbelt. If you don't put on your seatbelt, that could be an automatic failure. So we want to remind you to do that. Next, you want to maintain good speed at all times. You're going to want to go over speed. You're going to want to go under speed. You want to be consistent with your speed. And if you're consistent with your speed, you're going to make more lights. You won't have to run lights and you'll be able to understand the flow of the traffic. You want to identify and respond to proper traffic signals, proper uh, signaling ahead, and this all takes patience. You always want to be aware, and you have to go at the speed limit. If you go too slow, you're holding up the flow of the traffic. You could potentially struggle and fail, get marked down. And the same thing if you go too fast. You want to have great speed control. You want to do your best work. I want to say thank you. Uh, look at my videos. Leave some comments. I'm a state certified instructor. Bye. How are you? I'll see you later. Bye.